G'day and welcome back to another episode. Crispy here and today we're talking about solar blankets and um, how to charge our X1. It's got two 150 amp um, batteries in it, so total 300. So let's get into it. Our solar blanket lives in here, just here. And we've gone for the iTech World 280 watt um, solar blanket. Um, why I went with the 280 watt solar blanket, um, price was good. Um, and it comes with a separate regulator, so you can have it regulated or you can have it unregulated. Um, comes with um, battery clips, so if your battery goes flat in your car, you can um, charge your car up as well. So this um, iTech Weld, they're from WA, from Perth, um, and this was the two, the 280 watt was uh, 499, but they just recently they did have them on on special for about 399, I think. So yeah, but it's got a pretty good carry case. So um, and at the front, it's got all your stuff that you need. So with this, you get your five meter. Um, cable with um, Anderson clips on both sides. You get your solar charge controller, your MPPT, and that regulates the um, the charge. And you get your your Anderson clip and your battery. So if you get a flat battery on your car, you can you can just hook it up to your car, put the blanket on the roof or whatever, and it'll charge up your battery. So then you can get going and inside here this is where you hook up your line to your um, five meter cable and then to whatever you're charging so with this x1 patriot camper it's got to be unregulated so you don't use your solar regulator that you get with this because it's got to be straight from your solar blanket straight into your um, camper trailer because the camper trailer comes with a Red Arc, um, Red Vision, um, TBMS, and that's got a built-in regulator. So all you got to do is grab your lead and just plug it straight in, straight into there. Chuck this down. On the inverter side, so the inverter was just in here. There's your inverter. It's on the inverter side of your X ones. Down here, it's where you fill up your tank as well for the water. So that's for your solar input to charge. So you grab your other end and you just ch chuck it in here, plug it in. And then what you can do with this, what's good about this one as well, is you can put it on your car, or it's got eyelets all around it so you can hang it on your camper trailer or you can put it anywhere so what I'll do is I'll chuck it up on my window on my car and it fits up there perfectly and there you go and that'll be charging the TVMS So if you come around to your TVMS, sorry about the reflection, it's a bit hard to film at the moment, but it's pretty bright. Um, you power it up and then go to your screen and then you scroll to the right. And then what it does, it comes up with all the, um, what, what's, what input you're getting to your batteries, to your TVMS, and it tells you we're getting 13 watt, watts at the moment. So what's going, going in and what's going out going into the batteries at the moment is 0.5 amps so and that's the temperature that's inside where the batteries are at the moment and the the volts of the batteries so yeah there's your watts and yeah that's about it so and then there's another little section in your manager tvms manager and it tells you which charge you're getting so you got your car symbol your sun symbol and then your 240 volt from your main power 
So at the moment we're getting about 14 volts input to the um, TBS um, Red Arc manager. Um, yeah, so that's it for the video today. Um, thank you for all the subscribers that we got at the moment and if you want to consider subscribing and putting a, give us a thumbs up and liking our video, that would be much appreciated. So we'll see you in the next video and catch you later. You.